Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're off to the job site. Uh, so we're gonna work on, um, actually once we go back, we gotta actually, first thing we're gonna do is get the uh, legs pre-done on the cabinets back in the shop, and then we'll head out to the job site. And uh, we're gonna set the lower cabinets and kind of pre-set up the island. Kind of walk through a little bit how we do the adjusting the level on the cabinets and stuff and kind of a unique situation on this project where we've got uh, the cabinets tying into the windows. So we're just going to do the bases today. Uh, we'll get those leveled, get them screwed into place, get them screwed together, and uh, temporarily set the sink so that, uh, so next time when we come back, we'll have a uh, meeting with the countertop people and they're going hopefully they're going to let us uh, videotape their uh, process of how they measure counters and uh, it's kind of an interesting process how they do that so hopefully they'll let us film that if not we'll explain it out how they do it so yeah so let's get uh, back in the shop real quick get those legs set on and then off to the site and uh, start setting base cabinets So today we're going to install the uh, adjustable legs and I'll uh, put a link in for the description. So these come with two pieces. It's got a little plate that we will mount on here and then I'll transfer to the job site and then when I get to the job site these go in. So this one does allow you to, um, if you drill a hole <coughs> in the um, this is the bottom side of the cabinet. If we drill a hole through here, it allows you to come inside the cabinet and adjust them up and down from within the cabinet. I don't like doing that. And they got a little, like a cover that you can put on, but I'll generally just put these on. And then when it comes time, um, I'll just, I can reach on the floor and get that one. So the way these mount, is there's, comes with a, two, a little bracket like this. And the, this goes on there. That'll attach with a couple of screws. And then once it's mounted, it just snaps into place. Now this is too high for this. And then if you ever want to, you can pop that off so you can get access underneath that. So this part gets put on afterwards. All right, so to line these up, I built a little test piece or a little uh, spacer block, basically. I'll flush that up the front and the back. I'll line up my sides. drop in the screws. So there's that. And then when I reach underneath, I can do that. Or we could have drilled the hole through, which I'm not going to do. So then we go ahead and do that for the rest all four corners of every cabinet. But one thing, when if you are looking at these, do, do look at the weight rating on these. Uh, there is a vast difference in them. So I know there's stone counters going on this. I believe these hold, I want to say these are 300 pound per uh, foot. So we'll have four of them so we'd be able to support 1,200 pounds and you add up all those. So that'll give you enough. Some of the other ones are like a hundred pounds, which might get a little bit, if you're just doing uh, like Formica style cabinets or something like that, it's probably fine. Uh, but if you are doing stone, you definitely want to get the heavier ones. And I said, I'll put, I'll put a link to that in the description. So there we go.
there we go. Got four adjustable legs for this. And uh, yeah, we'll take those off. They'll be hauled to the job site. And uh, that cabinet's ready to be installed. One of the things that we'll do when we're setting these up is I'll actually preset these being close to where, you know, I know I need to have a total of about 34 and 7 eighths in order to accommodate for my counter. So if I come out and bring that out, I need about four and a half inches. That'll get me pretty close to setting my height, give or take a little bit of uh, floor fluctuation, but at least then I can get it in close. And uh, once we come in with a the laser, then we'll, we'll adjust them from there. So one of the details on this particular kitchen is we're doing a little bit different uh, with our window sets. So I've got my, I got a laser in here that is going to be the top of my counters. And then this, I cut this to the depth of my counters, which is about um, three centimeters. So what we want to do is I want the top of the counter to be flush with this. So when it's finished, what we'll do is I'll come and set their counters and then we'll come back like in here, put our extension jams and our trim, and our extension jams will land on top of the windows all the way across here. Um, we're also centering the, this is our kitchen sink. We're centering this on the window, side to side. And then we've got our dishwasher coming in here, and then we've got another bank of cabinets. Now these are actually going to be drawers. And then on this side, we've got a blind cabinet, which is this one. I'll go back in there, and we've got to reroute, get rid of this. The electricians are coming by to get rid of this temporary uh, tow kick heater underneath, and then we'll drill for that pipe for the drain coming out and that'll come out through the back of this cabinet and into the kitchen sink. So once these three cabinets are set, then um, the cabinet maker, or the actually countertop people will be able to come out and uh, measure up and get the counters ordered. So one of the things I did do on this this is my blind corner, so this is about a 50 inch cabinet. It actually did go ahead and put um, six set of legs because uh, it's a big cabinet and to help support that all the way through. So here what I'm doing is just trying to get the cabinet slid into place and uh, get that set. Once I get it set into place, then I'll go ahead and uh, start leveling. And I'm using a couple different methods here to level it. Uh, one of my legs fell off, so I gotta put that back on. But I've got my stick and I've got my laser on the wall. And uh, this is where we talked about earlier, if there was holes drilled, I could do these from the, the screwdriver from the top, but then I got a big hole in the bottom of the cabinet. I'd rather not do that. So um, I'll just go in there and I can I can reach back there. It's only a couple of feet. And I'll just spend a little bit of time and go ahead and adjust each leg until either with uh, adjusting it with the uh, uh, little spacer board on the top. And then I'll also come back and check with the level and then just kind of work my way through all the cabinets.
So the next thing I need to do is there was some question about spacing with the client on where the island was going to go. We knew what size it was going to be, but it's kind of a tight space uh, between uh, the sides. And we just want to kind of put it together and, and at least do a mock-up. Um, this will get um, probably... Um, moved out of the way uh, possibly before they finish the floors but for now we're just going to get it uh, mocked up in place they can get a feel of how the kitchen is going to be and then um... all right so the way i go ahead and connect them i've got these little uh, barrel bolts connect uh, cabinet connectors and uh, that's where I'll, I'll drill out a hole i'll do like four of them and then it joins the cabinets together on all the sides. Makes them nice and secure. Like on this is an island, so I, there will probably be probably a dozen of these that will connect all these six cabinets together. And uh, yeah, that'll hold the cabinet. So I'll get this couple top, do a couple on bottom on each one of these, and then um, between the two cabinets, side to side here, I'll also do another set. We got one more cabinet coming in here for this island. And that ties this as a nice big, uh, one big unit, so. All right, so we're pretty much set. We've got everything screwed and shimmed into place. We verified that everything was square. We got our sink where we want it. And uh, we've got a little return. This is going to get painted. Um, so we've got a, a cabinet here that's just going to be for pots and pans. We've got our stove, our blind cabinet going back in there with one drawer. And then we've got our sink. We've got a dishwasher here. And then another cabinet over here that will actually have a full bank of drawers. Um, we just got the top one in right now. And on this side, we have the island. Um, that'll be pots and pans. One of these cabinets will be a full set of drawers. And then we just got an end cap. This all get, and these cabinets are all getting painted, but so it's just got an end cap. It's getting painted. Uh, that center one still needs to have legs, but this will be just doors and then a countertop on that. So, so now we're pretty much set. Um, we just need to get this set so that the counter guys come back in here and get their measurement. Uh, until we've got time to come back and then we can uh, finish our uppers get those set and they're going to go floor to ceiling we've got 10 foot ceilings in here so yeah